Now, Rico, we move on to the red bracket. Four matches to be played. Now, keep in mind, the top four seeds will not play in this round. So let's start out with the matchup between the number eight seed and the number nine seed. Well, there you have Mike Taylor and the Big Show. Mike Taylor won it in his hometown of Seattle. The Big Show did it on the greatest stage ever. New York, we'll see. Big city, small city, how that one turns out. Looked pretty even at the top, with each player scoring a touchdown in the first quarter. Brady launches it. Let's go. First down, he's looking to throw. Caught by Maroney. Maroney's in. Touchdown. I would sort of consider myself an underdog. I'm one of the very few guys who probably um, have a regular life. I mean, like, as far as a 9 to 5 and, you know, other things that I do besides just Madden. My game plan was fine, and it was just I couldn't. Move the players the way I wanted. Couldn't hit the buttons fast enough. Couldn't click on to the uh, D-backs. And every time he bombed it long, they, they were catching it on me. The Big Show tried to get back in the game with his own deep attack. But Michael Taylor's interception wrapped up the contest 42-21. Now to the number 512, and I know you think Prodigy is a sleeper in this tournament. Yeah, Prodigy was one of my picks to uh, advance uh, under the radar. He's squaring off against the London winner who went through the whole country. Earlier, you see the international guys didn't fare too well. Let's see if he's able to buck the trend. Brady, back to throw. I think him being from London and not really being in the, the scene of all the Madden gamers in the United States, I think that hurts him because over here, you know, we. We're always live with each other, trying to improve our game. Those guys know everything. You know, they know every single play. They're um, they're just super quick with their hands on the stick. They're like causing fumbles. They're like picking the ball off, taking it out of their hands. It's just they're good, man. They're really good. Puts everything behind this one. On target, the dangerous boss holds it in. Touchdown. It was a nightmare, man. I wanted to like halfway through the game. I wanted to like. Streaker across the stage, you know, <laughs> throw a distraction in there, give myself a shot. <laughs> 6 11, Secret. Top told you about him. There is a buzz about this guy. What do you think of his chances here in this round? Oh, well, Secret's one of the most well known players in the Madden community. A lot of people have him as their favorite. One person who doesn't have him as the favorite to win is SJR. Look for this game to be highly contested, and I wouldn't be surprised if SJR made a name for himself here today. Started off me getting ball first, went up 7 0. But with some excellent stick work, SJR kept it close in the first quarter. I feel like I'm kind of representing everybody that's online. And it's just tough to go up against someone like Secret. Give me that! I'm gonna get clear, boy, I promise you. In the third quarter, Secret's three yard TD run with Lawrence Maroney put him 23 points ahead, enforcing the skunk rule. Good game, man, good game. You play good. Rico's favorite matchup in this part of the draw, Mark Dog against The Truth. Yeah, The Truth, an online player. Mark Dog, the George Jefferson of Madden, has moved his way on up. Look for him to do big things today. The Truth was up 14 with the first half coming to an end. He surprised me with some plays I've never seen before. They really caught me off guard. I had a chance at the end of the half to um, close the game out. If you're up by 21, the game's over. I was on the seven yard line with two seconds left. Uh, I decided to throw a touch, uh, try and attempt a touchdown. Instead of taking my three, because if I would have scored there, the game would have been over. Second half, I made some adjustments. Yeah, I was putting people in motion, seeing if they were following, following my receivers, see if they were man or zones, and stuff like that. It reaches up and brings it down. They beat us through the air. Ready, goes to Maroney. Maroney. I had the ball, it was like a minute 50 left. I was up by seven and I um, threw a pick. Just kind of went downhill from there. Once he threw the interception, I just saw that experience in him. I scored a late touchdown, I went for two. And I stopped him on his last drive and I won 29-28. The lesson here, Take your points when you can. Now, we have started with 24. We're down to 16. Next time, we're bringing out the big dogs, the number one seeds, as we see who makes it to the final eight. Next up, the big guns. We'll see who was worthy of a bye. Upsets, close calls, and controversy. I'm the reason he's playing. He's playing this game because of me. 
at the Madden Challenge.